Welcome to the second part on the discussions of measures of central tendency. This time, we'll have the group data. We'll still use the same frequency distribution of ages of 40 diabetics. We begin with the mean of grouped data. I will be discussing two methods of getting the mean of grouped data. And these are midpoint method and deviation method. Here is the formula for midpoint method. Mean equals sigma fm over n, where sigma f, sigma fn is the sum of products of frequency and midpoint, and n is the sample size. For the second formula, which is the deviation method, the formula is this. Mean equals m sub o plus ci times the quantity of sigma fd over n where sigma fd is the sum of the products of frequency and deviation and is sample size, m sub o is the midpoint of origin and ci is class interval. Using the data of ages of 40 diabetics, let's start with the midpoint method. Step 1. Find the midpoint of each class. The midpoints of 6 classes were already included in the table. Step 2. Make a column for your FM. You get your FM by multiplying each frequency by its midpoint. With this data, it will be 16 times 3 equals 48, 29 times 4 equals 116, 42 times 13 is 546, 55 times 8 is equal to 440, 68 times 4 is 272. And last class, 81 times 8 is equal to 648. So that's how you come up with your FM column. Third step is to find the sum of FM, then label it as sigma FM. So in this case, sigma FM here is 2017. Let's have mean using division method. Step 1. Choose a temporary arbitrary origin. You can choose from any of the class limits either at the center of, bottom, or at the top. Use 0 as your origin. You may put your 0 in the middle. You can put your 0 here or even here. It's up to you. Step 2. Assign the class limits coded values, starting with the zero at the origin. Positive below the zero and negative numbers above. So with this, if you have zero here, negative numbers should be above. So negative one will be here, negative two will be here. For positive numbers, positive one should be here, two here, and three will be here. Step 3. Add another column for the product of frequency and division as your FD. Given the data, it will be 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 13 times 0 is 0. 8 times 1 is 8. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 3 is 24. Get the sum and express it as sigma fd. Here, it will be 13. Let's compute now the mean using the midpoint formula and the columns needed for the midpoint formula. Your sigma fm here is 2070, and we all know that the sample size, or n, is 40. Dividing 2070 by 40, the mean now is... 51.75. Always round this off to nearest hundreds. For the mean using division method, your m sub 0 is 42 since that is the midpoint of your arbitrary origin or that's the midpoint where you put your 0. Next, sigma fd is 30 and n is 40, which is your sample size. Computing this, we have 51.75, which is the same as the midpoint method. 
So you see, whether you use either midpoint or division method, you will still arrive with the same answer. Median. I will be discussing here two methods in computing the median of group data. One uses less cumulative frequency and the other uses greater cumulative frequency. We start first with lower cumulative frequencies and the first and the formula is given below. Step 1. Identify the median class in cumulative frequencies by dividing the n by 2 to get the middle part. Given the data, we all know that n is 40 divided by 2 is equal to 20. Locate now your median class by going to the less cumulative frequency column. In this case, we have exact location of median class since there is 20 in this column. But in case of not equal class, go with a higher value and label it as your LMC or lower median class where you can identify where you can identify each value in the formula lrl sub m is 35.5 or your lower real limits less cumulative frequency below is 7 and your frequency is 13 substituting this to the formula it will be now 35.5 plus 13 plus 13 times the quantity of 20 minus 7 all over 13. Solving this, we have a median of 48.53. That's a median using less cumulative frequencies. For greater cumulative frequencies, do the same step in less cumulative frequencies. You first get the median class. Here, that is equal to 20. Again, in case you don't have exact value of median, get the two classes where the halfway falls and go to the higher value. Here, the UMC or upper median class is this. The values of each component in the formula are URL sub M, which is 61.5, greater cumulative frequency after is 12, and frequency is 8. Substituting this to the formula, we have 61.5 minus 13, times the quantity of 20 minus 12 all over 8. Solving this, we have 48.50. So you see, we will still arrive with the same answer. So it's up to you whether you use the LMC formula or UMC formula. Mode. There is, there is only one formula that I will be discussing in getting the mode of a grouped data. Step 1. Identify the model class by getting the class with the highest frequency. And the formula is also given below. In this data, the model class is this. Since this class has the highest frequency of 13. Next, you get this sub 1 by getting the difference of the highest frequency and before. And you get this sub 2 by, by getting the difference of highest frequency and after. Given the data, d sub 1 is 13 minus 4, which is equal to 9. And you get your d sub 2, which is 13 minus 8, which is equal to 5. Also, the LRL sub MO, or lower real limits of model class of the formula is 35.5 since it is the lower real limits of the model class. Substituting this to the formula, we have 35.5 plus 13 times the quantity of 9 all over 9 plus 5. Solving this, we have 43.86 as, as your as the mode.